Thanks, Freddie, for giving us those words. Now to our first feature. Contemporary artist Kwejo Alatiche always leaves jaws dropping anytime she exhibits, and her latest solo show at the Core Gallery in Lagos did not disappoint. Alafia, a Yoruba word which means peace, is what contemporary artist Pedro Alatiche is giving her audience who are in the co-gallery to see her latest body of work, life-sized, colorful and bold, all addressing current realities in this creative wonderland. Following the recent happenings and current realities um, in our world today, um, this, this exhibition, Alafia, dialogues with the concept of wellness and freedom. Um, the artists invite people into this world of fantasy where we all, as children, can imagine a world free um, of danger, of violence, and um, she, you know, Alafia is a Yoruba word um, that means peace or wellness. And so this is Kwejo Alatiche's prayer and wishes for everyone who comes here today to view the exhibition. I want them to come here and just be happy. You know, former me, I'll be political and very ready to fight. But these days, I'm just chilled and just wishing people well. We've all been through a hell lot of um, difficulties in the past couple of years. We all have um, experienced um, some kind of hardship, whether it's with the health or economically, financially, with the lockdown and all, and it's time to heal. So again, this is just wishing everyone a lafia. It's become her signature, installations, which take up a lot of space in the gallery. Working with wrought iron, chain and other material to achieve an intriguing storyline, a world free of rancor, as she encourages everyone to learn from the innocence of children while advocating for the rights of girls. Weju uh, is a very dynamic um, artist. She works through various um, medium, experimenting with materials and um, she's a very strong and bold woman whose work is um, in a way political. She's very vocal about work, um, addressing social and political issues in, you know, in our country. Every artist tells a story according to how they experience life uh, and these are my own experiences and essentially it's just to say hello hi hope you're doing okay i wish you well well i think it really showcases her sculptures um, large sculptural pieces women um, which is what we're so excited about because we love featuring female artists. That's, uh, we're a female-run gallery and um, it was quite amazing uh, to see the works that she had, the body of works that she had, and we're so excited to have her here again. Pedro Alatiche is an interdisciplinary artist, architect and writer who always creates works of art that speak to socio-cultural issues. Every time I attend her exhibitions, you can tell there's a story behind each of her works, right? And um, for me, that already tells you, I mean, she's either talking about Nigeria, uh, talking about uh, child um, advocacy, 
people talking about the girl child, you know. Uh, I mean, and the minute you look at one, any of her artworks, you can almost tell what the story is about and you can relate to, to it. A phenomenally gifted artist. Yeah? Queen is a genius, you know, and what she does that really excites me, yeah, is she produces these works of enchantment, yeah, works that take you into a, almost another world, you know, the world of childhood, yeah, the world of impossibilities. For example, you know, that guy's spirit is lighter than the balloons, and he's, you know, the balloons are keeping him down, you know. And, and the, these young ladies are in fields of fantasy. So, you know, this, this is a kind of enchantment eh, that's going to outlive this time. Youth, right from when she was in secondary school, she has always been extremely imaginative. There was a time she told me, Mommy, I wish you can open my brain and see what is inside. Well, I said, if I open it, I can only see mucus. I will not see what is there, <laughs> except you translate it. So she has always been a very talented girl. This is just one of hundreds that she has created. Only one creation is always different from the other creation. She, you don't find her making two of a type. And each of the creations has always been unique, extraordinary. Piju is a genius. I think that's, that's one word I can use to describe, describe her. Yeah, amazing. I mean, her vision is like out of this world. The Co Gallery wants art lovers to leave their worries behind once they step into this space and just enjoy the beauty around them. We know a lot of things is, you know, going on in the world today, um, the pandemic, the war, um, you know, people going through a lot here and there, and we just want people to take a moment from, you know, the happenings around them and um, come into this space and feel safe, you know, it's like a safe space for people. We want them to be able to put aside all, you know, all the all, all the things going on in the world. And as a child, again, like I said, um, come into a world of fantasy, just see themselves again as children with, you know, um, little care about what is going on around the world. Yeah, it's just a moment of um, reflecting on the, the other good things that is going on in our lives. Is there wellness without freedom? That's the question Pedro Alatiche wants the audience to ponder even after they leave this exhibition of paintings and sculptural pieces.